Just in the past few hours, NASA gave some answers about how it plans to bring home Boeing's Starliner capsule with two astronauts on board safely. The new capsule has been plagued with problems going back to its first test flight in 2019. And when it finally got off the ground at the beginning of this month with Butch and Sonny strapped in, it flew with a helium leak. Since then, we have learned of more leaks and more thruster failures. New six space expert Eric Von Anken is at the Kennedy Space Center with the latest. So, Eric, despite these problems, what's the plan? First, let me explain what's going on here. Just like your tire is pressurized with air, Starliner's thrusters are pressurized with helium. Well, some of that helium has been leaking out. Not a whole lot, but enough to cause concern for NASA. Right now, there are five helium leaks and five of seven thrusters have failed on board Starliner. So over the past several days, NASA has been checking the pressure in those thrusters, much like you do checking the pressure in your tires. The strange thing is the leaks, NASA says, have now slowed and the thrusters seem to be fine. When we did that, um, we saw, you know, really good uh, what we call chamber pressure. And so chamber pressure is a way to measure the health of the thruster in, in terms of telemetry. I think of it as like measuring the health of your tires on your car. You know, you check the pressure on your tires to see if they're healthy. Why are thrusters so important? Well, in your car, it's your engine, of course, that puts out all the power to push you around when you're driving. But in space, Starliner uses its thrusters to push it around. And there are two critical events when they come home. First is what they call the deorbit burn, slowing down the spacecraft just enough so it drops back through the Earth's atmosphere. The second event, pushing all the flight hardware away from the capsule right before it touches down. NASA believes it has enough margin to do both of those. We've looked at the margin for return, you know, uh, how many dynamic activities there are. Um, we've looked at the margin for return. You know, I talked about we have about we need about seven hours of helium and we have about 70 hours of margin to get to the deorbit burn. So the plan now is to undock from the International Space Station on Tuesday. That's yet another delay and then land very, very early Wednesday morning on airbags. Not a whole lot different from the ones in your dashboard in the New Mexico desert. NASA says with those two astronauts on board, safely. For now at the Kennedy Space Center, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6.